Hello, hello, and welcome to the Notary Life with Kimmy podcast. I am also one of the trainers with Notary Educators, which includes myself, Kimmy Nunnally, Angela Johnson, and Alexis Franklin. We each own our own very successful notary businesses and teach notaries in all 50 states to be great and grow their own business. We will discuss general notary work, apostilles, ink fingerprinting, and the duties of a notary signing agent, and much, much more. For all of your notary needs, please visit notaryeducatorsllc.com. We hope you enjoy the show, and we wish you much success. What's going on, Kimberly? Hello, welcome to Notary Life with Kimmy. Hey, Angela, sorry about that. My um, guys, you have to have your laptop plugged in so it doesn't die on you. Because I was like, "What happened? It just Look, went work." You got you got poor Dina. Uh, first time being here on live, I don't see anything. Hey, Dina, we're here. It's real. We're live. <laughs> Welcome everyone that is here to Notary Life with Kimmy. I'll let Angela do a brief introduction. Hi, and everybody. Hi. Okay, go ahead, Angela. I'm sorry. Hi, everybody. This is Angela with AJ Mobile Notary and Gwinnett Apostilles. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And I am Kimmy. Alexis could not join us. And Jeffrey is the other team member of Notary Educators, all of us together. And I want to say hi to those who will join us on the replay and those who will listen to the podcast. So let me just talk about that really quick and then we'll get into the topic. So a lot of times um, people listen to the podcast and they will tell me in the comments, I can't see you. Well, you can't see the podcast. Not not that kind of podcast. That's an audio only. Hey, everybody. Jermaine, Regina, hey, Jermaine. Yvette, Yvette, Dina, Quintella. What's going on? And who was our first person? Dina. Hey, Dina. Thank you. Thank you for your patience, too. So, yeah, so the podcast, um, when you hear it, that's a pre-recording of something that has happened, another show from another day. And now we're just now uploading it to uh, YouTube. So for many of you have caught the podcast because you didn't see the original. So there are over mm-hmm. like 600 videos on the channel. So that's good. You get to go back and catch some of the information. It's never outdated. It's always good. No, no. Anyway, we are going to get started. The light is on. Okay. So today, though, we are talking about trust and estate packages. That is all the buzz nowadays. Everyone's Mm -hmm. talking about trust and estates. And we've had many people ask us about it also. You know, whenever we get ready to roll something out, we have, oh, Jermaine does quite a few of these. Yes, yes. And whenever we get ready to talk about any topic, we want to make sure that we bring it into you in such a way that it's understandable, easy and clear okay so let's talk a little bit about what a trust package is and then i want to find out are you all doing trust packages are you all doing estate and trust packages put a one if you are and put a zero if you are not are you doing trust packages and estate packages who's that on facebook angela can you see girl wait i gotta get my hold on so one if you are currently doing trust packages and a zero if you are not. Do you even know what a trust estate package is? So we got a one on Facebook. We are waiting on Angela to tell us who that is. Yvette says not right now. Zero. That's fine. That's fine. That's where we're going to talk about it. Regina says not yet also. Quintella says yes. So we got a kind of mixed crowd. Mixed crowd. Angela, you are not muted. I see. Hey, Notary Down South, don't say nothing crazy. (laughs) Uh, Angela, so she's on mute now. Jermaine, yes. So quite a few zeros. So let's talk about what is an estate slash trust package. Because like I said, it's a lot of talk about it. You guys have been asking me about it. I wasn't quite ready to to delve into that with you because I know a lot of you still kind of need basic general notary training. And now I'm, I'm ready to go ahead and tell you about it because you're asking anyway. So we might as well talk about it. Hey, Notary fam, it's Kimmy. I am here to let you know, just in case you have not heard about the Notary Business Coaching Success Program. We meet weekly. We talk about your notarial duties, how to do an acknowledgement, how to do a giraffe, how to administer an oath. 
everything you've been asking for. And guess what else is included? Unlimited access to all of my trainings that will also include ink fingerprinting, trust slash estate documents. Learn how to properly execute a trust. Don't forget, we also have the private community. Like-minded notaries who have been trained by me. Check out my book that I've written for each state, How to Start Your Notary Business in Alabama, California. You get the point. Wherever you're located, there's a book for your state. Well, hopefully I'll see you soon over in training, Notary Educators, LLC. We got you covered. Bye. <laughs> All right, so trust and estate packages. What it is is when you are preparing your your finances and a lot of you don't have to have any money everyone should have a will but when you get ready to talk about the trust it typically includes a power of attorney a living trust while you're alive um what you want to happen with your uh, finances it also in covers a power of attorney medically speaking if you are in a coma who's going to speak for you it covers all these type of things right so as a notary, we don't prepare the documents, but we're often asked to notarize the documents, okay? So you may be called to a nursing home. You may be called to a hospital. It could be anywhere, really. You get a lot of end-of-life matters, people calling you to um, homes. Angela and I have both experienced that recently. Um, and uh, it was one more I wanted to talk about, and working with attorneys also. And we'll talk about how the attorneys use us as notaries shortly. Uh-oh, we lost Angela. I was just getting ready to have her to comment. <laughs> so when you think about um, the end of life matters, going to someone's home with a trust package, again, they're trying to prepare everything prior to their death. Who's going to receive their money? Who's going to receive their uh, property? Who's going to take care of their medical and final burial expenses, okay? If you are missing any of this, go back and watch the beginning. And then when we think about working with attorneys, they will prepare the documents. Here's Angela. Okay, Angela. Don't ask me what happened. I don't know. No worries. So I was just getting ready to talk about um, how we are useful to the attorneys as notaries when it comes to trust and estate packages. Um, did you want to talk about just doing general trust packages before I talk about the attorney part of it, um, Angela, like hospitals? How does that, you know, what's your experience or whatever the need for that? Yeah. And trust package can come in many, many different shapes and forms. It actually depends on what the person's needs are or what they want in the package. I just did like a really simple, simple one um, two days ago. And it only had the um, power of attorney, the will, the advanced medical directive. It had one more document. I can't remember what it is, but usually I've done some very extensive where it's like 10 documents An attorney called me to do hers, which had like 25 documents in it. So when you think about a trust package, it has it's on many different levels as far as the amount of documents that are in it. Yes. Yeah, so sometimes a trust package can consist of five documents. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it can consist of as many as 50. I've seen some larger ones. It just depends on what kind of property the person has. It depends on who they're leaving their property to, if it's a corporation. It's just a lot of variables, right? Mm -hmm. So that being the case, um, and I thank you, Jermaine, is saying that um, the course that he took really helped him to be able to do these type of packages. And he's referring to the older um, specialty general notary course. And mm -hmm. it really does cover a little bit of everything. That course even covers field inspections, et cetera. Mm -hmm. However, we are pleased to announce that I am releasing today my newest course, which is strictly about trust, and it's entitled Estate and Trust Packages, Notarizing Them. It's not that complicated, okay? So you do not have to have any um, uh, special cert certification to work with attorneys. You do not have to have any special certification to complete trust and estate packages, but you do need to have the knowledge of what to do. And that's what the course will give you. Everything we ever teach is simple. Every, what you need to get started in the business ASAP, okay? So many of you are not familiar with the trust package, but that's why this course was designed. And again, it covers everything regarding the trust, everything regarding the trust. So I'm just going to give you a little tidbit here. So it's going to cover like the living trust. We're going to go over several power of attorneys in that course. 
different wheels, different type of affidavits. What is a codicil when it comes to a wheel? I have to sneeze. Excuse me, y'all. <laughs> Within the package also, and of course, I've included a notarizing estate packages tip sheet for you that you can print and put in your journal. It will take you step by step. And I also prepared, I got to sneeze again. I'm so sorry. Mm, sorry, guys. I also prepared a sample email for you to send to attorneys when you're trying to market to them your business and how you can benefit them as far as um, facilitating trust signings for them. Okay. And also I included the whole package of the documents that I discussed with you. So again, that particular course is entitled notarizing estate trust packages. Don't be scared. It's not that complicated. Okay. And as Jermaine was saying, the course is on sale 60% off coupon code is win. 2024 win 2024 jermaine you are so sweet i really appreciate you um yeah. shout out, of course out i really do and i know you're doing some amazing things in your business and i'm very proud of you too he's been with us for a moment um i appreciate it <laughs> and i love so, it when we're, um i love it when people that buy our courses or use it they really see the value in it and it's useful to their business Oh, yeah. And the, so we're going to talk about the money a little bit with trust packages, too. So that's why everyone's kind of talking about them now. And Angela and I have been very successful doing trust packages. Again, you're typically going to be going to nursing homes, hospitals. You may work with attorneys. They may call you. And I was talking about that a little bit more. Why would an attorney call you to do the notarization? Well, because they probably need you more mobile. In the office, they normally have their own notaries. And that's OK. But their attorney, their notaries are not going to go to a hospital or go to a nursing home and fill out the, you know, do the notarizations. So attorneys will work with you. You just need to know the proper verbiage. You need to feel confident in offering that service. And in the course, I go over some marketing strategies for you. I actually um, have included a couple of videos that you may have seen from the channel about power of attorneys and will signings. So it's very um, comprehensive, like everything we do is very simple. Again, you don't have to have any testing in order to start facilitating these. You don't have to have any modules. It does not take 50 modules for you to understand how to notarize and how to work with attorneys. We keep everything simple, okay? So uh, we're gonna take some of your questions. Again, today we're talking about the trust package. So if you can kind of keep your questions around that, I do want Angela to eventually to talk about the mentorship program um, after we take some of your questions and it's going great. So let's um, let's ask, get some of your questions and see what you all are talking about with the trust really quick. Again, welcome to everyone that's here. If you miss anything, go back. No, down south. What's up? What's up? Hey, Monica. That's LaVon on Facebook. LaVon is on Facebook. Hey, LaVon. Welcome, LaVon. LaVon says she is doing trust packages. Good. Dina, it says, newly commissioned in Virginia. I've been a notary over 20 years for my job. Great. Great, great, great. Um, Jermaine says the course helped him. He put the link in the chat. But check out the course that's entitled... Um, notarizing estate slash trust packages it's not that complicated and that's going to be the best one to help you to start being able to facilitate estate and trust packages and let's oh the money that's where we were going really quick so you can make anywhere from a hundred dollars plus per assignment and you may say well why do they pay more for that than just regular notary work because you are facilitating a higher dollar amount package actually and again, you're working on behalf of the attorneys sometimes, even when you're working on behalf of your regular general public, I do not charge them my travel fee. Typically, I just charge them for processing and being able to notarize the trust package. And that's going to depend on where you live at. So I started out at 100. Some places, depending on how many documents, that's why you have to know your screening questions. I include that in the book. And I've talked about that, frankly, mm -hmm. here. You know, how many documents is it? Where's the signing taking place? So you have to know all of those things before you start pricing the assignment. But what I could charge here in Georgia and mm -hmm. California probably is going to be double. Angela, I saw you shaking your head. What you want to add? Can you hear us, Angela? Can you hear me? Now I can. Mm -hmm. I said I was just agreeing with you. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. So you can charge a little bit more for these um, signings than you can for just going out and doing one singular document. Uh, let's see what questions you all have. So this course would be an investment in your business in order to be able to facilitate again and know the lingo and the, and the jargon when it comes to a power of attorneys. What is an attorney in fact? What is a principal? You need to know all of that. You need to know what is a testator. You need to know all of these different terms. Now, now that you're preparing the documents, we never prepare unless you are been, you've been trained and your state says that you can, but you will be facilitating it. So you do want to be able to speak the language of the attorneys and speak and actually show your clients so you know what you're talking about too, okay? So we covered quite a bit in the course. Now let's talk about Oh, this course is not state specific. This state is not state. This course is not state specific. Your documents, as I talk about all the time, will come from all over the place. You may live in Florida and somebody's visiting you from California with their trust package. They may be relocating. You need to know how to notarize that. So all your documents are not coming from one place. This trust estate package course is, a, is um, applicable in all 50 states all 50. You may have a few little caveats as far as the notarization piece, but the actual forms, you will see the same forms. And again, even with the forms that I show you in the course, in the forms that you see day to day, it's going to look just a tad bit different, but the term affiant is never changing. The term testator is never changing. You need to know what those terms are. Okay. So let's read your comments and let's see, we are at where are we, Angela? At 12. 1244. Yeah, 1244. And Victoria says that sounds great. Yeah, thank you. I think it's a beautiful course. I know it's going to change some lives out there financially. Um, it's going to allow you to add a different level of service and be more equipped and more confident in accepting those calls and advertising for trust, power of attorneys, and working with attorneys. All right. Dina says, I've done trust POAs and stuff in the hospital. I worked at, it's a, it, I also did a lot of financial forms. Yes, that's why the trust package can consist of anything. It mm -hmm. can consist of anything. Mm -hmm. But we go over all the major documents that you will see, plus a few extra, because you know how we do. Chantel mm -hmm. says, hey, ladies. Hey, Chantel. Dina says, are they different? Are they the same in every state or are they different? Again, as we just mentioned, they're pretty much similar in all states. There is a little caveat here or there. Some trust packages may be five pages, some may be 50. But the point is, once you get the general idea and the terminology that we discussed in the course, you are going to be fine. BBAT says, love working with estate planning clients and attorneys. Yes. And a lot of times you don't have to do any printing. You don't do any printing. You just drive to the appointment. They already have their beautiful package in a beautiful folder, <laughs> usually, usually. And you just notarize it. Be super friendly. Mm -hmm. I talk about that in the course, how to identify, you know, if the person is competent, you know, uh, how to handle situations like that. So we go over a little bit of everything because the state documents and planning mm -hmm. is a little bit different because you're usually dealing with seniors also. And you need to be super, super patient. When you're dealing with attorneys, you can't walk in there at like you own the room. That's their office. You know, mm -hmm. those are, you are in control of the documents, but they're in control of everything else. So you got to make sure you know how to interact with attorneys, you know, you can't be rude, disrespectful. I talk about that too. So working with attorneys can be interesting, but sometimes it's the energy that we bring to them also. So we really want to be careful of that. Angela, you want to add anything else to working with attorneys? Yeah, I want to add something prior to that and that. And I want sure. to say that if, if you have not taken notarized like a pro, a notary training, you should not even try to delve into uh, doing trust packages because like we always say, it's always going to, you know, boomerang you back to, do you know how to notarize documents? And do you know what the responsibilities of a notary is? So you have to make sure that you, you actually know how to notarize documents and know those basic terminology before you add the trust to that. So that was what I was going to say about that. And also, I like what Kim said about, you know, attorneys 
and uh, working with people when you have to go to hospitals because you have to be patient. Generally, when we do general notary work, we're in and out in 10, 15 minutes. And so you cannot expect that with trust documents. I've been in a signing where I did trust documents where it took me two hours. She had four big binders, literally about that thick. And so even the one I did two days ago, it took me an hour and a half. And so the lady was elderly in this case. And you have to be patient. You have to even not practice law, but again, make sure that they're filling out, signing properly, putting things in the proper place. And so when you're dealing with the attorneys, you have to know how to act professionally. Even if there's not an attorney, these are people are basically getting their assets, getting their financials, getting their life in place that when they're not no longer here, that things are being distributed to the people they want it to be and the person who they want to be in charge of all of this. And so it's very important that we as notaries, we get it right. Yes. And I love what um, BBAT says, no printing. And if I have to return docs to attorneys, then charge an additional fee is okay. Yes. Yeah, so at that point, yeah. you are acting as a courier. So what happens, in, just to explain the mm -hmm. appointment a little bit more, is the attorney may send the documents to the client. They will hire you to go out to the client's home to notarize the documents. And then they may ask you to take mm -hmm. the, the documents back, just carry them either back to the attorney or FedEx or something like that. So that is an additional fee as to BBAT's point. And we talked about that in a video, maybe um, a few last month or so when I talked about 19 ways to get that to earn money. And that's one of the ways offering courier services. So not only are you facilitating mm -hmm. the estate package, having the attorney with having a relationship with the attorney, but now you have a new client too, who the person who you notarize for. So you want to make sure you leave them some cards, right? Now you're their mm -hmm. notary. They have, that's a relationship. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Donna says she just saw the live notice. And then when you take the package to UPS or FedEx for them, now you're currying. So all of that mm -hmm. is additional services. So you have to know how to build the business. And that's what we're doing. So let's talk a little bit about the mentorship program. And we'll hang out a little bit longer if you have any more questions about trust packages, how to add that to your business. And um, Angela, let's talk about the mentorship now. Yes. Uh, so we started a new mentorship program at the beginning of last month, March. And so we're a month into it. And let me tell you, um, I don't know about Kim, but I'm, I didn't know that, that I would enjoy it as much as I am because we're here to, you know, to help people build businesses. But in the process, uh, you know, walking along the road to that, we're here to help you make sure that you're getting it right. We're making sure that when you go on assignments, that you uh, are notarizing documents correctly and properly, that if you're having a problem getting your business off the ground or you're stuck with your Google page or you're, um, uh, something different on a document comes up and you have a signing or at a signing. We've been helping people all week, all month doing those type of things. And so that's what the mentorship program is about. And we truly are here from 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time because we want you guys to be successful. So if you need help, we're like on a different plane because we used to just call everybody and uh, take everybody's calls. We actually have a mentorship program, and I don't know if you'll agree, Kim, that I think that's working even better than we when we were assisting people with call because it, it's more detailed, it's more organized, and uh, we're able to help people uh, more and make sure that they get the answers right. And the good thing about it is that only Kim, Alexis, and I are actually the ones in the chats or on the phones giving people the answers because it's not like a lot of people do give good answers in the Facebook page, but sometimes we have to go through and it, and correct people. So we don't have to do it in our mentorship group because we make people sure people have what they need and the correct information, no matter what state they're in. So the mentorship program is up alive and running. So, you know, check our website out, notaryeducatorsllc.com and join us if you need help. And if there's no obligation, you can cancel anytime. Yeah. I think the best part about the mentorship is that we're actually teaching the people what to do. Mm -hmm. It's not just, can you, can I send you $5 and you tell me the answer? <laughs> no, you cannot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you cannot just cash right. app us and we're going to send, tell you what to do. That's not how you learn. That's not how you learn. You need to learn how to build your business. Right. It does take a little time. 
it does take a little investment and right now we're working on a google pages and it's not too late for you to start um with us on the program uh you can go back and watch the replays the mm -hmm. uh mentorship videos are recorded and uploaded and tomorrow's session we are actually going to be making that google page pop and we're building out the business basically and the blessing about it was yeah. it's so funny it just worked out alexis was saying the same thing everybody's kind of on the same page so we're all at the same point where they're yeah. building out their business their google business page tomorrow we're going to actually um get those pages like i said looking like it's ready for business make it look pretty and do all of that then we'll make mm -hmm. sure we have our business cards and just make sure some people are have a few steps ahead of others but just make sure everyone is at a place where they can be successful in their business. So I'm excited about it too. I really am. I feel actually right. more and useful, you know, yeah. um, instead of just kind of randomly trying to answer this and answer that. And it's like, no, that's no, no, no. We need some structure. Just like we say, you need structure in your business. We need a structure at notary mm -hmm. educators where we can actually help you all and not feel like, wrangling in cattle or you know what i'm saying just wrangling in questions and it's like wait a minute what did this person need so now we have one uniform spot where we can actually make sure your business is growing and that you're getting what you need so um that's all i got on the mentorship but it's still yeah. open of course it's not closing you can uh, as angela mentioned you can cancel anytime before the prior month so you sign up today on the fourth you decide, you know what? I think I'm I'm good. I don't need the mentorship anymore. As long as you cancel before the fourth of the following month, then you can mm -hmm. cancel it. But you still would be a member for at right. least that 30 days. Okay. I have to, I have to say, I, I just want to give this example of how great I think it is. Um it's like our last meeting, you know, most of the people, it was all about Google. There are more, more other things, but our main goal and sole purpose. It's not to ask you questions, but it's, it's to get where you are with your problems and to solve your problems to make your business. So everybody was like, not only is my Google page not verified, but I'm having this problem. Google I'm having that problem. And so we always want to do what's best, you know, for our mentees. And everybody agreed that they needed to make sure their Google page was up. They make, make sure it's verified. And so throughout the whole past, you know, week, week and a half, you know, in the chat, that's what we've been working on. And I'm so happy and excited that. There were so many people that got verified. There were people that got their problem solved with, with their Google problem, whatever they were having. So that's what it's all about, working together, making sure that if we are going to help you, that we're truly helping you. And so, I, I mean, I just, I'm just ecstatic, ecstatic that, you know, throughout the week, oh, my Google page is verified. Oh, I fixed that problem. And we're mm -hmm. all in there together, you know, making sure that you have what you need in order to, for your business to be successful. Because we all, as we mm -hmm. say, without a Google page, you don't have a business. Yeah, it's true. And the other piece of that is just seeing how like we started out with one objective and one plan for the for the um, intercession. But it was like, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. No, that's not where we need to go. We need to go in a different direction. <laughs> you know, so the the sessions are based on what the what the people in this in the mentee in the mentor program need. That's what it's based on. So like I said, we were going to talk about this right. and it was like, whoop, pump the brakes. No, everyone needs this. So we got to take it in a different right. direction. And we're more than capable of changing. It does. It's not about us, as mm -hmm. Angela said. We're about helping every single person that's in the um, program. So by being mm -hmm. three of us, three and a possible, mm -hmm. I always say with Jeffrey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, you have Jeffrey. different perspectives and different talents. Because like Alexis and Angela know a whole lot more about Google than I do. And Angela found out a, a, a resolution for one of our people that everyone was struggling about. Because I was like, I don't know. A Alexis knew, I believe, but Angela was able to get on top of it really quick. And the problem was solved and the person was able to get verified. So if you don't get verified, and as we already stated, you have no business. So let's see what is going on. Dina is saying I'm having struggling with my business name. Victoria says she's signing up. Yes, Victoria, we'll be looking for you. Yeah. Um, Dina says, I really don't want to use my name for my business name because I don't like my name at all. <laughs> then don't use that name, Dina. Right. <laughs> don't we had one person in the, um, we in the mentorship last time that was talking about the name, the struggle with the name. And we remember, who was, well, I can't call a name, but anyway. That 
is a big issue, people coming up with a name, you know. So we're again, we're gonna be addressing all of that. For now, I'll just give you a few tips. I would just say I got a free video on it. And then just think about too uh what area you're serving, maybe, you know, what what do you want people to feel when they hear your business name and something else to think about, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and one time we mm -hmm. did a this was another session we did with something else, and the person had used um like daycare looking um things on their business card it looked like a it was for a, a daycare graphics and stuff yeah the graphics and i said mm. Mm. so you watched the video already so the, if colors, you have the a, colors and all yeah the colors everything it looked like a daycare so when she showed us the card we were like everyone felt the same way it wasn't just us as a um educator saying it Everyone felt the same way. They were like, mm -hmm. I think it looked like you're advertising a daycare. So if you need more yeah. help, Dina, you've already watched the free video and you want an actual session with one of us, you can definitely get on our calendars um, as a one-on-one -on -one, um, coaching corner, or you can join the mentorship um, so we can actually, you know, deep dive into your business, what it is that you need. So that's always an option for you too. Okay. And then we do have the free Facebook group that has not gone away. The free free Facebook group is still there. Uh, notary educators, feel free to join that. And if, when you're ready to go next level, the mm -hmm. mentorship would be the best program. All right. And last thing from Dina, I really always call myself a paper pusher at the hospital. So I wanted to use mobile paper pusher, LOL. Um, yeah. Um, I'll say, I'll, 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 I would think I'll about say that one. To that. Because if you say mobile paper pusher, somebody... You're not going to come up in the notary space on Google, first of all. And are they going to know what you're talking about if you just have mobile paper, paper picture? Yeah, I, that's why I'm like, I don't know about that one. Donna, um, Donna, I will call you and um, let's see what we need to do about your um, gum rope. Guys, take your time when you are applying for anything or um, buying anything. Put the correct email. When you don't put the correct email in the gum roll, which is how we house the, the subscription, the mm. membership, and your courses and everything, mm. if you don't use the right email, it's a hot mess. And that's, it's no other way to say it. Mm -hmm. I mean, because they're thinking you put one, two, three, and it's really one, two, eight. And then you try to go back and access it, it, it's a disaster. And we can't change it for you. You have to go through Gumroad. So please take your time when you are signing up for anything and put in the right um, information. And that's not just for us. That's when you're doing long signings, your general notary work. Mm -hmm. That's one of the things we actually teach in everything we do. Take your time. Take your time. And you also, everything off. you also want to use the same email when you in Gumroad. Don't don't use different emails, one email this time, one email the next time, because that's two totally, it's going to take you in two totally different directions. And you're going to be looking for something, it's going to be with the other email. So you have to realize that also. That is true, too. Sometimes we have too many. That's why around here, guys, it's not that complicated. Uh, we keep everything simple. Sometimes it's too simple. I got to relay something to y'all really quick. So I had a, um, just to the point of something being too simple, I had a course. Um, and someone was like, well, I was thinking it should have been this or it should have been that. And I'm like, it don't take 500 modules to learn that. I may not be the person <laughs> for that person. I'm very simple. If I can give it to you in an hour, I'm not going to stretch it out to 500 modules so you can just feel like you got value. I'm, I, I just can't do it. I don't even have time to play those kind of games. Now, there are people who don't mind that you know but again we keep everything simple easy clear and if that's what you're looking for it would be our pleasure to work with you but if you like complicated and complications and it's just too clear and too it can't be that easy then you might need to do something different quite honestly because everything we do is mm -hmm. going to be the simplified way it's going to be the easy way it's going to get it accomplished mm -hmm. and you will make your money it's just as simple yeah. as that that's it. So we will get ready to head out of here. Uh, we had one more comment there. Victoria says, done looking forward to the mentoring. Yes. Yes, she's done. Okay, well, we'll look for you over in mentorship. 
Donna, I will give you a call right quick and we'll see, can we get you handled with your gum roll? Guys, on behalf of Notary Educators, we do hope that you check out the newest course. Again, notarizing estate trust packages. It's not that complicated. No testing, no certifications required. Learn your art, learn your skill, learn how to work with attorneys and make your money. It's just that simple. Angela, would you like to say an outro? Just thank you guys so much. Always a pleasure. This is Angela. With All Angela right, guys. We'll see you soon. Very good. All right, guys. We'll see you around in mentorship or somewhere soon, okay? Until next time. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you again for listening to the Notary Life with Kimmy podcast. We would love to be a part of your notary journey. Please visit us at notaryeducatorsllc.com for all of your notary training needs. Also, please feel free to join the Notary Life with Kimmy YouTube channel, where Kimmy has over 400 videos that will help you to grow and build a successful notary business. Until the next episode, we wish you much success on your journey. Bye.